right, so we're going to check out how to use the COT report with regards to your futures trading endeavors. Barchart.com, tried and true favorite. All right, so go to futures, go down to major commodities, and let's pick, let's pick a commodity. Let's pick the biggest one. We'll do two tonight. All right, so go to all right. So December contract, one hundred thirty-two thousand. Uh, we'll probably do it probably a little bit more. This is late November, actually Thanksgiving Day, the evening. Um, the festivities are over, and I'm I'm back at it. So, technical opinion sell. We'll make a note of that. But let's. I want you guys to see. So let's look at RAM one. Okay, so here's a template that I set up. But the big thing I want to look at is the hot report. So this hot report is it goes alongside with if you look at it, it looks very similar to the ADX. Not exact, but these are my favorite indicators. You've got price. Exponential moving average. You've got the trend spotter here, uh, the Bollinger Band. You know, a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes it, the Bollinger Band pinches here. It's real tight, and the price is in a range, and then it snaps, and then boom, it opens up right here, boom. Um, and then here, here it goes. Um, and then here's the price envelope. Take a look at if we're above, if we break out above the price envelope and the end of month keeps closing above the price envelope, you know, or below it, you know, across it, below it, or here, you know, once it got below the price envelope, it never even touched it. The price never even touched the price envelope. Here it nicked it, and it's just gone down, 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 down. So, you know, it can be very helpful. Um, in terms of watching price movements, you could say, okay, well, you could put in orders every day to get out if it touches the price envelope. Or you can do a percentage. You can say, okay, if it's you know 50%, you know, between here and here, you can just find this price and every day um, you know, put an order to to close the position to get long. So if you're short one, if you sold one to get into the trade. You can buy one to exit the, the trade. Um, so that's a possibility as well. You know, you know, there's a lot of ways to play it as a potential. And the same thing here. You know, once it breaks out of the price envelope, at the end of month close above it, then you could say, okay, if it hits it, I'm gonna get out. So you got out here, you might have got out here. Or you could say, okay, if it's a uh, 10% difference between the top of the price envelope and the bottom, when you just get out. Um, I love monthly charts, guys. I love them. And you know, we could say, you know, 50%. If it's if it hits halfway in, and look, the price is up, you know, and it wouldn't have hit until like right here. Um, so, and then you could also use the exponential moving average as well. You could say, well, if it has two monthly closes below the EMA, or the price hits 50% inside the price envelope on this monthly, then I'm gonna exit. So there's there's a lot of ways to play it. But let's check out the COT report. We'll look at two charts real quick. Okay, so the COT report, Larry Williams wrote a book. Uh, years and years ago, and I first found out about the COT report uh, by reading his book, and he basically said that for commercial hedgers, you want to watch market extremes. So if they're super long, you generally want to get long. If they're super short, historically, you generally want to get short. Again, there's no no silver bullet, no no guarantee. However, it was a good book. Now, I think that I've actually nuanced the book even more, and I wrote an e-book. I'll show it. Uh, I'll have it uh, flashing up at the end of the video. Um, if you want it, you know, email me, drop a message down there, etc. in the comments. Um, but I think there are a few other patterns that I really like. For example, here, the a lot of it's the pattern. So I, I like twos and threes. So you've got the ADX is pinching down. This is the average directional index here. It's a double pinch down. 
the double pinch down, which is like a W in the ADX mod. And the blue, generally, you'll notice is sort of the opposite of the red. But these red lines are our buddies. Whichever they're pointing, whichever way they're pointing, is generally which way we want to be. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be long this market. It doesn't mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to for sure get short, but I don't want to be long this market. Um, I like, I like when they're, you know, when they're pointing down, I'm not, you know, I don't want to get long. So here's a pinch down for the cot report, the double pinch down for these commercial hedgers. You can call them commercial hedgers or commercial speculators. They're listed as commercial speculators, but they're essentially commercial hedgers. So uh, the double pinch down, that's bearish because it's pinching down. It doesn't, I wouldn't get long. It doesn't mean the price is going to fall off a cliff. You know, here was a nice, a nice drop and actually it popped up, you know, so you'll be able to potentially suffer a bit uh, here before the price, you know, dropped. Um, but yeah, I mean, you gotta be, be patient. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be long. But yeah, I really like the double pinch down. Let's go to another, another one. Let's go to, uh, the energies. I only have time for two today. I'm gonna keep these short and sweet, but let's go to the gasoline. So let's do January or Bob gasoline. Um, let's do January. Technical is to buy. And we haven't picked what our trade's gonna be. I just wanted to, sh to show you that. Okay, so we'll go to RAM one. So remember, in our earlier video, we wanted to set up the templates, monthly, weekly, daily, etc. All right, so let's see where we wanna go. Well, this price looks a lot like crude oil. Um, we did go over crude oil in our, our last video. And it looks like a double pinch down on the ADX, which I think is decidedly bearish. But also, here we go, the cut report, the double pinch down. But again, historically record short, you know, pretty short. Not the shortest, because that was shorter. They were shorter here. They were shorter here. So, you know, I think I've made Larry Williams' argument a bit more nuanced, um, which is that not only is it about historically being record short, but it's also about the patterns. So let's check out, let's look at like, let's spread this out a little bit. Let's look at like 15 years. Because I want to open this up a little bit. So looking at the cot report, you know, you're seeing the hedges get even shorter, even shorter. However, this big pinch down, and then now this is pinching down. It's not a huge pinch down, but it's still a pinch down. This pinch down, on top of the fact that you've got the double pinch down, this W here and this W here, you know, these ADX and ADX mod, I think that's decidedly non-bullish. Doesn't mean that I would get short, no guarantees, but it's it's decidedly non-bullish. I wouldn't want to get bullish here. Um, would I want to get bearish? Uh, possibly. We're overbought. Again, secondary and tertiary, Stoke RSI, RSI mod, DPO, etc. We are rounding up. Um, somewhat bullish, somewhat bullish, but we could be turning down, you know, potentially. Um, the price is in a downtrend, um, so I think that immediately makes me think that I would rather play it down than up if I was just to pick just a random, because market trends tend to persist. Again, no guarantees. However, I would much rather play a price that is, has had a protracted down swing um, over a long period of time, you know, this thing's been dropping for two years. So we had the, so even though, and also don't look at exact levels because even though this, these price levels are above the earlier highs, so it looks like it's higher highs and higher lows, that doesn't necessarily promise you that the price is just going to take off. You know, it's really tricky because these are high, these are lower lows, these are lower highs rather. Um, but these are higher highs and these are higher lows. So you're thinking, well, and this could be a coffee cup formation, a cup and handle. So it's, it's tricky. You're thinking, well, and that's why you want to look at the story. You want to look at the evidence. Again, you're playing lawyer. You want to look at all the markets and whatever trade you love the most, because you see the most evidence for going long or going short, you know, those are the trades you should get in on. And if nothing looks obvious to you, or you think that it's, 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 it's it has a good a good um, 
quality odds of winning, then you should stay out. You should stay flat. You should just keep all your money in cash with, your, with regards to your commodities account and let it sit and wait and wait and wait for an opportunity. Um, you don't want to be an action junkie. You want to be, you want to try to win. Um, you want to try to get into trade without a high probability of success. Now, remember, different traders have different strategies. Some guys are going to be completely in disagreement with me on everything here in terms of which indicators to use and this and that. But this is what I've used. This is what I've learned. I've, you know, all the research I've done, this is what I like. This is what I'm comfortable with. And the traits are that I'm playing for more medium to long term. I'm not playing for like a day or a couple days. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm generally not as much a week long or a week short. I generally try to, you know, um, see if we can get into a trade where we might catch a strong move because I want to be able to get, you know, a piece of a decent move. I'm not looking for like three ticks or eight ticks. I'm looking for a decent move. So ideally, obviously. So, um, so right here, so the double pinch down, I think is bearish. Double pinch down, is, I think is bearish. These pinches down, right? The little V or like the W, you know, when they pinch down, I like that. If it adds to the story up here of the ADXs of uh, bearishness, this has also been climbing up, so this could be lower. These again, these are secondary and tertiary. This is still overbought, so I think you know, I think there's a lot of evidence. And also, I looked at crude. I looked at the other uh, uh, intermarket charts and the energies, and they look similar. Um, and I think that we could see you know, uh, gasoline and, and crude be pretty correlated here as well. I'm pretty bull. I'm bearish crude, um, so I would be bearish the R bob. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for today. I want to keep these short and sweet. If you have any questions, please ask, and we'll go over some other markets uh, in future videos. Thanks a lot.